Hey Leo, let's figure out some shifts that you're going to be undergoing for September 15th through the 30th. I'm going to pull your cards out and then we'll hop right into this thing. Be sure to stick around to the end where I, where I will pull an angel message for you to help you navigate this energy shift that you're going to be undergoing. Okay. All right. Let's pull your cards out here. All right. So for your current situation here, Leo, I have the Eight of Pentacles energy. All right, so some of you could be uh, undergoing something new, okay, or mastering something, preparing for something, preparing for something big to happen, preparing to move into a home, preparing for a new relationship. However, this is going to show up for you, love, relationship, career, um, or your personal growth. But I do feel like you're uh, currently in this place of feeling very ambitious. You're feeling like you're on top of things, on top of um, on top of work, on top of, you know, love. When I say on top of love, things are going well in your, in, on the home front for some of you. You're in this place of, you're very focused right now. I'm, I'm also hearing a sense of freedom that is coming up for you. So maybe this is, you know, you guys have been promoted in a job or you um, are in a position where you have complete autonomy. That autonomy can also you know, transfer over to some of you may be single and now you feel like you have the freedom. So this could show up in a plethora of, of ways. However, this resonates for you. Take that, take it uh, as at where you see fit and um, leave the rest behind. So I do feel like, again, you guys are in a place where you're feeling dedicated, committed, um, again, on top of things. Okay. So I'm going to pull two more cards on this just to sort of get um, a clear direction around your current situation. Messages for Leo, please. All right. One more card. Ace of Swords energy here, which is definitely pointing to a new beginning again or a new idea for some of you. Um, but you're, you're in this place of feeling clear feeling clear about something. You're, you're liking this awakening phase right now because there's been a lot of change for some of you, a change in status, like I said, changing career, can change, uh, changing your love life, or you guys just feeling a sense of elevation within your spirit here, okay? There's a, a transformation here that is happening for you in your current in your current state, which I like that energy for you here, Leo, okay? But some challenges that may, you, that may come up for you have the two of cups. This could be in relationship, in love, in a marriage. Uh, this could also uh, pertain to a friendship here. So I'm going to pull a few more cards on that because that's coming up as a challenge for some of you guys when it comes to something that you love or someone that you're connected to. So more messages for this Two of Cups, please, Spirit. Thank you. We have the, the Page of Wands or the seven of, and the Seven of Pentacles. So Earth Energy here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We also have um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, which is your energy here with that Page of Wands. I'm going to pull from the bottom of the deck the Strength card, your energy here really trying to find strength and power. I'm hearing that you're um, you're you're wanting your voice to be heard. Okay, so could it be that you're in a position at work where you're feeling you have complete autonomy, you're the boss. And it could it be when you come home <laughs> you have less power or you know the roles could interchange. But it feels like there could be a lack in one area and an area where you a lack in one area where you're feeling power in another. Okay, if that makes sense to you guys. So I do feel like whatever this is, you have some sort of, um, you have optimism that things will get back, that things will get better. Okay, or you're needing to have um, a sense of optimism as things get better in your relationship. Okay, or in your relationships in general. Okay, I'm going to see this as a relationship that we're talking about. Okay, so I'm not all over the place with single, you know, committed, all, all of these things. So if you're in a relationship, there could be a challenge that you may be faced with, okay? I feel like there's this energy of you guys wanting to just be uh, have fun and be playful, just sort of get out and feel that sense of freedom that you're feeling in that one area. You want to feel it all across all across the board here in your life. So, But I do feel like you're in this place where you're sort of waiting, waiting for something to change, waiting for something to happen. Some of you are not seeing clearly in a relationship. Can you be blinded by love? Can you be blinded by the D. Okay, there could be a, a lot of things that come up with this because I feels like it feels like a waiting game. But it, you know, it just makes me feel like, okay, currently you're like in this position of like, yes, I feel power, but it feels like 
with this, it's like in one area of your life where you're feeling power and the other area you're feeling powerless. Okay. So it's, it's like blinded by the truth, blinded by love, not able to speak your truths. It feels like this sense of, um, it almost feels debilitating is what I want to say. And, and emotionally for some of you okay so it feels like this is an opportunity for you guys that challenge is to really um, become self-aware to do some self-reflection here during the remainder of this month because I feel like you have an instinct okay about something but I'm not sure if you're sharing that I feel like you're also trying to hide something from yourself like you don't want to fully reveal something it's almost like if you say it out loud then it becomes true like you manifest that but this is a month for you to focus on self or the remainder of this month is for you to focus on self-love and self-care because it feels like you're lacking in an area of your life and possibly when it comes to love. So that could be self-love or in a relationship that something is lacking. Okay. So um, this is saying that this is a temporary situation for some of you, but you're definitely going to have to put in some, some effort and some time and some energy into this. And like I said, it's going to be temporary, but I know that your hard work is going to definitely pay off. So that is a challenge that some of you may be facing uh, towards the remainder of this month, I mean, or in the remainder of this month. Um, let's get some advice for you. We have the Two of Pentacles energy here. So we have another two. We have the Two of Cups and then the Two of Pentacles. So this makes me feel like when it feels like when it comes to finances, possibly finances, how... Uh, finances are divided in the house, in the household between you and someone. Maybe you're carrying a lot of weight or the other person is. There's a lot of exchange, a lot of back and forth where you're feeling powerless when it comes to, you know, finances. You're trying to find this juggle. I mean, you're trying to find this alignment. You're juggling things, okay? You're juggling, um, <laughs> putting, I'm hearing, putting um, one, putting money from one facility into another just so that you know you're not overdrafting an account. You're feel, it feels like there's a lot of moving parts for you that you're trying to make things happen here and really trying to find some balance, especially when it comes to the financial, um, the financial front. Okay, so this could just be going on in your household or you could be a single person dealing with juggling your finances, having some profit and loss that you're um, experiencing and really just trying to find some flexibility flexibility in your life where you're not as stressed, okay, because it feels like that is coming up for you. All right, so Spirit is asking you to find something that you can do. <laughs> Soon as I said that, the temperance card popped out, and this is maybe yoga, yoga, meditation, doing Pilates, um, I'm doing a spin class, taking a pole dancing class, something. So it feels like moving the body act um, physically is going to um, relieve some of this stress here so that you're focusing attention on yourself and not on the matter. Okay, because sometimes when we focus too much on the matter, we push it away. If we push it further away, things become more stressful and we go into a downward spiral. We, we're not in a place to fix anything. So the, the temperance card here, Sagittarius energy here. Then we have the moon, Pisces or Cancer energy here as well. So it feels like you know, your advice is to really find some sort of peace, calm, serenity in your inner self, as well as in your environment, in your work environment, in your home environment, in your relationships in general. This is definitely going to help you overcome some of this stress. This is going to help you feel powerful, okay, instead of powerless, especially when it comes to that area where you're feeling like you're lacking, okay? So remember things in moderation because it feels like spirit is reminding you this because it's like you can go all in and then forget about this over here, okay? So really finding balance. So if you are if you are in a new job, you're making a lot of money, your time and energy is focused on just that and then you're lacking in the the you're lacking in the on the personal on the personal development side, you're lacking in uh, splitting your time between family, um, quality time and you know all of that all of those things here. So it's really just about you finding some balance and staying patient through this process here. So 
Harmony, peace, balance, tranquility is your best friend this month, okay? So find something that you could do. Go on walks, like I said. Um, I'm here, even here for some of you playing basketball, so maybe playing some sort of extracurricular activity where your body is fully engulfed in this mind, body, and spirit. Actually, when you think about playing basketball, it's not just a physical game. It's critical thinking skills. You have to use agility. It, there's a lot of things. You have to use your full mind, body, and spirit in something like that. So taking up something like that is definitely going to help you this month because there may have been some misconceptions about things, some secrets, some hidden information. Things that, you know, you're not, again, talking about, things that may be going on in the, on the, in the family or in your relationship, things that are not, things are not being talked about and it feels like a lot is weighing on you, okay? So it feels like there's an energy of fears, um, fears coming up. Some of you are looking at the glass half empty, okay, is what I'm hearing here too. You're looking at the glass half empty half empty, especially when it comes to this one aspect where you're feeling powerless, okay? So that's some advice for you for this, um, the remainder of this month. Let's see the opportunities that might lie ahead, which is perfect. The three of wands, there are opportunities that are coming in for you, but spirit is saying to be patient. Those opportunities could be working through a relationship. It could be starting a new relationship, starting a new job, finances turning around for you, okay, if you have been financially stressed, because spirit is saying your work is going to pay off. Your hard work will pay off, okay? So you have to find some sort of peace and serenity within your mind, body, and spirit in order to allow this portal to open because you're trying to force something that is not ready to be revealed. Okay, so opportunities, you're going to move past whatever this is that you're feeling powerless in. Spirit is again saying, wait patiently, be patient. Your dreams are definitely going to come true. So that is a beautiful opportunity that is coming up for you here. And the likely outcome for you guys is the death card. There's just going to be a lot of change, whether you're ready for this change or not. Okay, so if you're asking for something, be ready to receive it, okay? Be ready to receive that. Feel into that and use inspired action. Use uh, the visioning process to really feel into this energy of what that looks like. What does it smell like? Using all of your senses on how that's going to look for you. But again, this could be an ending of something. This could be an ending of a job. This could be a relationship. This, is, could, this could also be an ending to your financial woes. So... Definitely new beginnings are on the horizon, but expect endings, okay? These endings are for your highest good so that you can move into this next level. So that is your outcome for the remainder of the month. That death card energy here is saying that things are like, it's going to be game over. <laughs> game over for the things that you are feeling powerless in, okay? There's going to be a lot of momentum as far as you gaining power this month in all areas of your life. Now, let's pull a angel message for you. See what is coming out for you. A message for Leo, please. What do you need to release is what Spirit is asking you. What do you need to release in order for this transformation to unfold for you? Okay, so that's a question that you can ask yourself for this remainder uh, portion of the month. What do you need to release so that you can make it to this next level? Okay, so that is your reading, Leo. Thank you so much for tuning in. If any part of this reading resonated with you, be sure to uh, like this video, comment below. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. Enjoy the rest of September. I will see you guys for October. Many blessings and love and light, guys. Peace.